Byrne McCann has issued an apology to the victims of her ex-partner Arthur Collins, but claims she said things to protect her family. Byrne McCann has issued an apology to the victims of her ex-partner, Arthur Collins, who is currently in jail for injuring 22 people in a 2017 acid attack. Last week, voice recordings were leaked which appeared to show Fern calling one of his victims, Sophie Hall, ugly, an A, C, asterisk, asterisk. In a statement, Fern said, I want to apologize to all the victims of Arthur Collins' abhorrent actions in 2017, in particular I want to apologize to Sophie Hall. I do not believe her to be ugly or stupid. She has been brave beyond belief. Fern added that she is unable to give her full side of the story because there are important and significant legal proceedings at play. She continued, what I can say is that the voice messages that are being released are manipulated, edited and taken entirely out of context. Even so, I will have said things that are untrue and I did not believe, but I did so to protect my family and myself from serious harm and in the face of significant threats. The voice notes in question were leaked from an anonymous Instagram account and are said to have been recorded one year after the 2017 attack. Sophie, who suffered scarring to her face and arms, had entered a pageant and wore a dress made from newspaper headlines about the attack. In the voice note, Fern allegedly said, the silly bee asterisk 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 has made a dress, a papier-mâché dress out of the cuttings from the event. She will probably win it. I'm not going to lie. Only because the awards she entered are probably loving all this free press. So they will probably fix it. She will win. She is one ugly f asterisk 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 ing c asterisk asterisk. Fern's representatives subsequently claimed the voice notes are part of a harassment campaign against her. In a statement obtained by the Mirror. A spokesperson said, these voice messages are part of a wider harassment campaign designed to intimidate and discredit Fern. They are subject to an ongoing investigation being carried out by Essex Police. As such, Fern is unable to comment other than to say she offers her deepest sympathies for the distress and hurt this situation is causing Ms. Hall.